So uh, <clears throat> A, T, uh, C, G, uh, A, T, uh, uh, A, uh, something like that. And this is the, let's say that's the, uh, the, the first one uh, we sequence, Wuhan uh, number one. But later on, we have a, <clears throat> another sequence, I say this one is the, uh, and that's what, let's call that alpha. Uh, and later on, we have what, uh, gamma? Delta, Delta, now Omicron, All right? So let's put it there. And we put it this way because we are trying to match in the exact sequences. Uh, and those will be, let's say, uh, A, uh, T, C, G, A. Well, uh, we had to put a, a mutation here, say C, and then A. I right, asked alpha, um, A, T, uh, I put it. By the way, I'm just making things up. Uh, uh, hopefully there's another C, A, And we put those things in the right order and those are called alignment. So let's say those are all A's, those are the alignment we, we, we have. And those are, oh, uh, I, I wrote a C there. <laughs> Sorry, oops. Uh, Those are all A's. And then there are places uh, we can see there are some places like uh, they have mutants. This position is a G, this position is an A. Oh, I see. Uh, pink on the red is not a good idea. It's, uh, uh, light blue, okay. Yeah, so. so those are the mutations we can identify. Oh, that's interesting. Pink and red become purple. <laughs> okay. Uh, so this is why this is the purpose of a uh, uh, call alignment. And from from alignments, we can identify mutations. So that's the reason uh, why for many sequence analysis we do alignment. If you think about in, in uh, this is not just for biological sequence, for human language, you do the same thing. I, if I if we translate something from uh, English to a different language, say uh, uh, in this case, Chinese, I mean, uh, so the, the English version, say if the sentence says, say Tom play basketball, or Tom, is a person, we put it in the Chinese version of the person, the play is a verb they, that is the English word and there's a Chinese version of the verb equivalent of the play. And there's a ball, basketball, that's the, uh, an, another noun, uh, in this case, English is that called, I forgot the term, the object or something. Uh, Subject, word, object, uh, let's just put it that way. Uh, in Chinese, there is also a, a noun corresponding to basketball. So in, in this case, subject, word, uh, object, they're all the same in, in English and Chinese. But I know in some language, uh, this is not a, always the case. Uh, so, so then we, you have trouble to do the alignment. But in, in, in this case, between Chinese and English, we can align the, the three part of a sentence. And in this multiple sequence alignment, we do the same thing. 
Uh, okay, actually, so uh, there is another exercise uh, I can do uh, is actually to use uh, a site called Cluster Online Alignment Tool. This one you can try it yourself. So. This is an online tool called Multiple Sequence Alignment. Uh, in this case, uh, let's say uh, we try a, a common in, uh, sequence. Uh, by the way, I'm going to write it, uh, I say, First one sentence, second sentence. Uh, okay, we have a, a two sentence. Chattanooga is a great place. Chattanooga may be a great place. And then we do uh, alignment. Okay, it's not bad. <clears throat> so, uh, oh, this is a bit uh, small. Let me see, is it big enough? So, Look, wow, Chattanooga is actually a great, oh, I have a typo there, <laughs> sorry. Uh, I, I guess if I type a G-R-E-I-T great, uh, correctly, maybe there's a better alignment. Uh, place, great place, uh, not a G, uh, it actually should be an insertion there. Is uh, maybe, so it's not great, but it's okay. Consider this is the unsupervised machine learning. So this is basically alignment. Uh, if we if we go back, uh, let me correct my typo here. Hopefully this have a better alignment. Uh, Oh uh, yeah, it does look like a little better, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> it put the an S and the E, I, I guess because these two are similar in amino acid. You have to you have to understand the this is biological sequence alignment. So it's going to interpret those letters as amino acid. So S and the E, serine and E is an active charge, polar charge. Maybe maybe S and E is more similar. And so that's a good alignment. Uh, great place, great place, Chattanooga, Chattanooga. Is and maybe uh, it's problematic there. So now also gap there, which kind of the insertion. So yeah. <clears throat> uh, we can actually have many more sequences. And the, let's say use the example sequence. By the way, this is something called FASTA sequences. So now the great grand sign is the header information. And below, those are the actual amino acid sequences, uh, uh, amino acid sequences. So the M is the first amino acid methionine. What is R? Uh, arginine, V, valine, L, leucine, S, serine, P, proline, A. Alanine D, uh, I forgot, K is lysine, T, threonine, and uh, aspartaminine. Yeah, so basically there are 20 amino acids. Uh, I used to remember all of them, but not anymore. <laughs> so, okay, so uh, in this case, we have uh, those are all what hemoglobin and from human. Uh, 
subunit alpha. Uh, they are, they are, look like there are some uh, little variation among them. So let's see. Yeah, so there, uh, places where it's identical, there's a star at the bottom. Places the is not is a blank. So here, G A D and there's no consistent is list as a blank. Star means it's identical. Uh, colon means it's similar. A A T. Uh, colon. One dot is even less, I guess. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, complete blank means it's, uh, there's no uh, common shared positions. I mean, I said there. So those are highly conserved regions. So, <clears throat> and by the way, those are amino acids. So if we, in theory, if we align a spike gene from the uh, alpha, uh, alpha and uh, uh, delta omicron, and we can identify that the D2G6.4 amino acid mutation somewhere. Uh, okay, so this is the why we do the alignment. Now, uh, if we go back to the code, oh, let me see. The alignment uh, folder and the file is MSA. So there, it's basically a text file and it's called a FASTA format. Uh, it has this there. The first one is greater than sign. And then it says human coronavirus 2019 Wuhan, isolated from Wuhan. And this is called a uh, WIBO4 2019 EPI. That's the accession number of our GSAT. Uh, 2019, 12.30, that must be the date and the location is China, so there. So it's a, a bit ahead of information. Um, and below those are the alignment. Uh, remember the dollar, uh, uh, the hyphen, when we did that uh, for the cluster, that hyphen, oh, I see, wait, <laughs> this one doesn't have, remember we, when we aligned the Chattanooga, is great. The hyphen means insertion. And uh, those AT, AAT, those are the actual sequences, which is alignable. And if we scroll down, uh, oh, that's a lot of sequences. Okay, I'm going to... Uh, there, you'll see, uh, whoops, that is still a lot of sequences. Okay, so the first one is the Wuhan uh, uh, number four. Okay, WIVO4. Uh, the second one is what? The second one, oh, it's actually isolated from, look like from New York, uh, North America, New York. Uh, 2020, Apple 13, something. Uh, uh, and then there's another third one is from Europe, Poland, oh, interesting. Uh, Scotland, Europe, Europe, uh, England, England, Aus Australia, Spain, USA. Uh, there, 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 those are the uh, <clears throat> so-called header information. So, but remember those are alignment. How do we visualize them? Uh, there's one software uh, can do that. It's called Alley View. Uh, I, can't, I can't give you that link if someone, some of you want to use that. Uh, oh, uh, Look like I put the screen sharing had failed. Gee, how did that happen? Uh, well, this is new. <laughs> Haven't happened to before. <laughs> Try again. Is it working? Okay, it's back. I guess. Uh, 
Okay, yeah, the alley view is the, yeah, the, uh, if, if you are interested, you can download the code and try to run on your own computer. It's a Java uh, code, so it runs everywhere. Uh, so I have the alley view open. Uh, Ali view, I'm going to open that uh, alignment file. Wow, see. <clears throat> There are so many gaps uh, in the gee, in the first uh, several uh, uh, wow in the first uh, five hundred something there are all gaps. So the beginning region is highly variable. Yeah, so here. The first position started at uh, 582 something. So before that, they are all gaps. Um, that's a reference. Uh, the first one, Wuhan number four, that's a reference. ATTA, they are 512, yeah, 582, we start from the first position of the Wuhan number four. So before that, they are all gaps. Uh, oops. Uh, and then there, uh, look, those are highly conserved regions. G, 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 uh, G, G, A, A, those are, those are highly conserved regions. Here's another one. So, do you see a mutation somewhere in this uh, graph? In this picture, look at here. There's a T mutation here. Uh, it's really hard to see which sequence gives it a T. Uh, no, it's the next one. Ah, it's it's a sequence from Iceland uh, had the mutation there. Yeah. <clears throat> T. And if we go to the spike region, spike regions are, it's actually hard to see here because the coordination is uh, shifted. But, oh yeah, I think we are close. Now you see a lot uh, more mutation much more often. So here there's another T mutation. C, there's another T mutation. Oh, there's a G mutation here. A wild type is A. So now you see more and more mutations. Uh, okay, the T. Uh, those are low sequence quality things. Uh, T, yeah, so there, uh, <clears throat> so this is basically uh, why we do the alignment. So, oh, there, 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 there is another mutation. So, we, so by looking at the alignment, we can visually identify mutation. But imagine there are millions of sequences. So even here is quite a lot. Uh, there are about 40,000. There are, how many sequences do we have? Uh, actually, uh, 41,788. So uh, that's 41,000 still a lot. If you want to count by eyes, it's going to be a pretty challenge. So this is why we have to write a code to do this kind of thing. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> Okay, it is, it is working. 
Okay, so instead of running a code lab, so I'm going to run my own uh, uh, computer now. So that way I don't have to wait uh, for uh, <clears throat> uploading. So there, uh, well, uh, let's see. Do I, do I have the file here? Do I have the FASTA file? No, uh, I put it outside. Yes, I put it outside. Uh, that's fine. Uh, but I then I have to put the directory there. Okay, that's fine. So I'm going to read the that alignment file. Oh wow. Uh, yes, it's it's done. So there are forty one thousand seven hundred forty eight fast star record in that file, but I don't want to do all of them. I only want to do one hundred. So I'm going to uh, set a flag called debug, and usually uh, when people debug, and zero means no debug. Anything else means some level of debug. So if debug is uh, not a zero, I'm going to only analyze 100 records. For the in-class demo, that will be much faster. So, uh, so there, in, instead of uh, looking at uh, 41,000, I'm going to just look at the first 100 records. It's, it will be much faster, right? So the first one, the first record, well, in Python, first one is zero, and that one is what? Uh, Wuhan number four, uh, isolated from uh, December 30, China. Yeah, so there. And this, the total length, including gap, is 48,741 uh, nucleotide. So, <clears throat> so That's uh, is printing on the first three sequences, and the second one should be from New York. Is that from New York? Yes, that is from New York. Yeah, New York, uh, North Carolina. Second one is from where? Hold on, yeah. So that's correct. That's <clears throat> what we have been read. Uh, uh, look at it from the text file. So in order, uh, remember on the. Uh, when we look at the, the actual alignment, how do we count the mutation? Uh, we have to look at the, each position. If they are all the same, then there's no mutation, right? In this position, they are all A's, then there's no mutation. In, in this position here, uh, there is a G, but majority of, uh, there is a T, majority of G. So there is a mutation from G to T. Usually mutation when the one with the mutant it occur much uh, less frequent than the original one. So <clears throat> okay, so and basically what we need to do is the count the frequency of those letters in each aligned position. Uh, I see. I, I just realized now that I'm on my own computer, I don't have to uh, turn off my video anymore. <laughs> okay. So uh, I use the counter, uh, a, a Python function, I basically uh, found out uh, through Google. Uh, <clears throat> what I, this, what this counter offer is basically to count the input letter and uh, I can return it into as a dictionary. So, And so the way I'm doing this, I go over all those uh, positions in the input records. So the, the input position of uh, input position and the input records, I first uh, create a buffer position, buffer sequence. And then for all those, for all those uh, records, look at the, 
what I do is I found that position in the specific records, position in and position plus, basically that's just one nucleus, one position. Remember Python is end exclusive. So this is just the one nucleotide position in that position. I put that into a buffer. <clears throat> and then I use the counter to count how many letters in that buffer and convert it into a dictionary. And then I print it out. So um, there. <clears throat> so um, let's see. Uh, I'm going to do a testing run and see how many mutations are there. And uh, this one, I'm going to just do 20 positions. And what position uh, we will have the, I, I look like I pick 3,600. Is 3,600 a good one? Uh, let's see if we go back to, It does look like 3,600 is a good one. So, okay, this is the 3,600, yeah. 3,600, look, there's a lot of converted regions. All right, so 3,600 to, uh, I'm gonna pick 3,600 and then 3,620, so. Wow, it's actually seem to be consistent. Look at uh, is that so so this is hundred they are all C. Is that correct? It does look like it's correct, yeah. They are all C's there. The next one is all G. Then G, 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 and then C, G, and then there will be T, 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 T. Yeah, it, it's correct. Yeah. So, it, but instead of I, I look at this content myself, but now I write a Python code to count this. Right. So, so I, so what this means in, uh, in the 36, for all those positions, is no mutations. Which just counted the fact, and in uh, in those positions with with the hundred sequence, we can there's just no mutation. Uh, um, <clears throat> we can verify uh, visually. Oh, it looks like if I add a few more sequences, I may find a mutation. So instead of uh, twenty. I add a 200, will I get some? Oh, I know. Uh, <clears throat> instead of using 100, if I use 500, I may get the mutations. Let's see. Oh, wait, I cannot do that because I already trimmed it. I have to reread that sequence. Yes. <clears throat> so now I have a 500 sequence, and hopefully I can get that mutation. No, I did not. Uh, Uh, because this is the third, three, four, zero. So I have to use the 45 to get it. Okay. Ah, finally, yeah. Oh, this is actually, I guess there are, some of them are in, but this is a T here. Ah, uh, yeah, I did, I did get that one, three, six, three, nine. Is that three, six, three, nine? Yes, it is. Interesting. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, so there, um, we, we write the code, we can also verify it, yeah. But apparently there are a few other, uh, by the way, those are not mutation, those are the quality. Uh, N means it's low quality place we cannot tell. So those are just low quality positions. 
but this T is the actual identified mutation. So yeah. Uh, <clears throat> there. So here we have a good example there. We, we just found out that, that the T mutation. So it looks like there is another T somewhere, but I have not visually found it. Yeah. There are two of them look like, but I found one of them. So, yeah. Okay, so uh, I think I'll, I'm down today. <laughs> That's a lot already. So uh, just to show how, how to use multiple sequence alignment to identify the mutation, yeah. So. 